Yo, what's going on out there guys? It's Roll Easy here, and I'm back with another solo money glitch video. This video, this glitch, will make you rich. Did that rhyme? I didn't mean it to. But it did anyways, and it's true, alright? So get your popcorn ready, because this is the glitch to be doing today. It's Sunday, I hope everybody's having a good day. And you know what? Let's get started with this glitch. Let's shout out the founders. I know for sure you got uh, Killer Gaming, I believe, is one of them. He had something to do with this. Tudor Facil France, Nengo Mods, 115 Sig, and Ernie. And also, Freight Train What the Fudge. And I know for sure this is Freight Train What the Fudge because we're using his impromptu race trick that he loves to, you know, glitch hunt with. So shout out to him. Shout out to everybody that had anything to do with this. Links will be down in the description below. So. What you're going to need is a facility. You need the facility to be full, all right? RH8s, Fagios, whatever vehicles you want to overwrite. doesn't matter. I'm using Sanchez's. It's all good. Just overwrite whatever you want that you don't mind losing, okay? Apart from that, you need an Avenger, just like this one. You want the Avenger, and you need it to have the weapon and, well, just the vehicle workshop. Just the vehicle workshop in the back so you can drive Warstock vehicles into there. Apart from that, you need a Benny's vehicle to dupe, like the LG Retro Custom we're using in this video and have a custom plate on it guys. Custom plates are very important and needs to have a custom plate on it before you dupe it, all right? That's how you stay being a clean player, all right? So, apart from that, you do need a Warstock vehicle also like the Oppressor, the Stromberg, or the Deluxo, all right? We'll be using the Oppressor. So what you see me doing right now with the Avenger is you see me actually, basically I'm just trying to move it as far back to the facility as I can while still maintaining that blue circle uh, to, to be able to enter the Avenger. So that's a pretty good distance right there. And we're going to be using the oppressor and you'll see I will still get the option to go in and the full alert. All right. So I will be doing this tutorial on Xbox because, you know, I kind of missed Xbox. I've been playing PlayStation a lot. So all you Xbox dudes, I haven't left, man. I'm still here. So here we go. I'm calling up my oppressor now. This is where you can get your Deluxo, Stromberg, oppressor, whatever you want. It needs to be able to drive into the facility or the um, the Avenger. Go up to the yellow circle, get the facility full alert, dashboard, then come back. All right. Once you've done that, go ahead and drive up to your Avenger. Now, go up to your Avenger, get the right D-pad option and just back up. You want to be able to still have the right D-pad option and the facility full alert, just like that. So go ahead and just dashboard once again. Once you've dashboarded like this, what you want to do is just sit here and wait for the facility full alert to come back while I have the right D-pad option. Now, I'm going to go ahead and once the facility full alert comes up, start spamming right D-pad a few times. Just a few seconds, you know, of spamming. Then go ahead and open up your dashboard again and close it. Now, you see I don't have the right D-pad option there? That's good. Open up your interaction menu. Now, you want to go to impromptu race. Now, over impromptu race, you want to select it and then spam right D-pad. All right, just like that. Go back. Select it, spam right D-pad in between those two little menus, okay? Just do that a few times, like two, three, four times. Close up your interaction menu completely. Once you've done that, if done correctly, you will be, just listen, all right? You'll hear your guy spawn into the, uh, the Avenger, okay? You'll hear the mechanic, all right? So once you hear that you're in the Avenger, just hit A, okay? It's just hit A or X on PlayStation, and that's what should happen. You'll get kicked off the, uh, um, the oppressor, and then it'll disappear. And you've done the glitch, all right? So go ahead and just, you know, kill yourself at this point. Take the easy way out. Um, that part, that last part when you're on the facility full alert, you know, it, it's about five or six seconds. I wouldn't worry about seconds too much. If you want to count, go ahead. But the most important thing is to actually just listen and wait to hear for that, you know, for the mechanic. And then you can go ahead and accept that alert. All right. And then you'll see you'll get off the oppressor and it'll disappear. All right. So like I said, basically no timing, like barely any. It's super easy. What you're going to do now, though, is you need to call up your mechanic and call up an LG Retro Custom from a different garage, not the facility. And you want us to have custom plates. Very, very important, guys. If you don't know much about custom plates and the daily sell limit and stuff, go check the description. I have like a 14 minute long video explaining it. It's very, very good info. I, I highly recommend everybody watch that if you're selling dupes or duping cars. It's really good information to help you stay, you know, as a clean player. All right, so I have a Roll Easy Plate custom plate, Roll Easy custom plate on this car. And uh, yeah, this is the LG Retro Custom we're gonna be uh, you know, duplicating. So what you wanna do now is go ahead and find a spot near your facility where you can wedge the driver's side door and the passenger side door. This is like my spot, I found this, so I like to use it every single time for my videos. Now, 
Go ahead and spam Y or triangle and you should be able to teleport in and out of the car. Now open up your interaction menu, sign in as the Motorcycle Club president, hover over return vehicle to storage, hit A and Y at the same time, all right? That's X and triangle on PlayStation. If done correctly, you'll see that you'll spawn in the car, the interaction menu will go away, and if you sign in as the Motorcycle Club president and, you know, hit it, you'll see that it says return vehicle to storage while you're in the car. That's how you know you hit it. So just drive up to the facility, boom, you get the full alert, and just go ahead and accept that, all right? You, you've you successfully made a dupe just like that, all right? The original went back to where it came from, and you were driving in the dupe, and this is what we just drove in here. I'm going to overwrite one of these Sanchez's, boom, just like that. We have a dupe, all right? So obviously, you can dupe a car pretty much every five minutes just because the mechanic cooldown only allows you to call up a car every five minutes. So that's what we're going to be, you know, doing here. And I'll show you the uh, doing the glitch one more time. So you see I got my roll easy plate that is a brand new duplicate right there clean fresh plate I can sell that not right away I'll explain that later but I can sell that and I won't be dupe detected nothing like that all right that is not a dirty dupe that is clean so let me show you how quick it is to actually do it again so I got my oppressor I'm gonna go ahead and go up to the yellow circle get the facility full alert dashboard close it drive up to my Avenger once I'm at my Avenger I'm going to go ahead and get the right D-pad option and just back up, back up, back up until you have the right D-pad option and the facility full alert, just like that. So go ahead and dashboard once again, then close your dashboard. All right, so here we go. Now, what you want to do is go ahead and, you know, I got the right D-pad, I got the facility full, I'm just waiting for that again, okay? So I'm waiting for it, waiting for it, boom. Now I'm spamming right D-pad a few times, all right? Just spam it for a few seconds, all right? Once you've done that, open up your dashboard, then close it. You don't have the right D-pad option anymore. Open up interaction menu, go over to impromptu race. Remember, select it, and in between going to the next menu, spam right D-pad a couple times, all right? And do that about three, four times. Now check it out. I actually didn't hit it this time. I guess I wasn't, you know, I only hit it like once or twice, and then I closed the interaction menu. When you close the interaction menu, facility fuller comes up, and you should be spawning in the Avenger. I was listening though, and I couldn't hear myself going into the Avenger, so I knew I didn't hit it. So you see, I dashboard and check it out. I'm still here. So if that happens, it's all good. You just gotta go again to you know your interaction menu, go to impromptu race, and remember, select it, spam right D-pad a couple times in between the two menus. Select it, spam right D-pad. Do that a few times. Close up the interaction menu so that you can get the facility full alert once again. And if you did that little impromptu race part correctly, you should hear yourself going in the Avenger. So that's what I'm doing right now. Behind this black screen, I'm going into the Avenger. I can hear it. I heard the mechanic. I selected A or X for that alert, got off the bike, and it disappeared. Boom. All right. Now I can go ahead and exit my Avenger. So that little impromptu race part, I mean, it's it's really not hard. You know, I just, I don't think I was spamming really. I just hit it once. So if you want to spam it a couple times after you select impromptu race, go back. Select impromptu race, spam right D-pad a couple times. That's all you want to do. All right, do that three, four, maybe five times. It's all up to you. And uh, remember, always commit suicide. Always, you know, take the easy way out after so that you don't get all glitched out when you're going in the facility with your new car. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead. Remember, I had three retro customs in that garage. I still got them. So I'm literally calling up the same exact one right now. All right, and I took a decent amount of time, so I didn't have a cooldown for that, uh, you know, for, the, for this uh, retro custom, but this is how easy it is, guys. Back to back, you're seeing me do this, okay? This is all one big, you know, uncut uh, clip that I took today, all right? So, and this is all on Xbox. This works on PS4 and Xbox. I've called that same retro custom now, uh, and this retro custom has my, you know, my custom plate on it, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to this spot to wedge the driver's side door and the passenger side door. Remember, you need to be signed in as an MC president. Once you've done that, spam Y, you know, a couple times, make sure you're teleporting in nice and, you know, nice and easy, and then go ahead and hover over return vehicle to storage, hit A and Y, or X and triangle at the same time. Remember, you can always check if you hit it right. Well, if you're in the car, man, and the interaction menu is gone, you hit it right, basically, okay? The original car went back to that garage. You're driving in a duplicate. Make sure you don't get out of this duplicate because it will disappear, all right? It will completely disappear. So now you can go ahead and drive this baby over to your facility. You will get the full alert and just accept it just like that guys all right so just like that in this you know little video i made today i got two dupes for you quick and easy all right i i saved over my sanchez that i had there remember use faggios or rh8s that don't matter and 
there we go. I got two brand new duplicates. Now remember, when you drive this car out, it will be bricked. It's just going to kick you out. So the way to access these vehicles, you can either close app. That's up to you if you want to close app and then, you know, reset and then, you know, open GTA back up again. Or if you want to be safer to stay unpatched and stuff, just select your second character, you know, swap characters, go to your second and then go back to your first and you will have access to your vehicles and you can drive them. All right. So I hope everybody learned something today, man. This is a dope glitch. Take advantage of it while you still can. My name is Roll Easy. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're brand new. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video. For the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content, don't forget we are on the road to 25,000 subscribers. Everybody have a great Sunday. Peace out.